everybody, this is Tammy, TJ's Kids. I'm back with a video response to Laura Loves Laces for the Recipes for Alicia Challenge. These are my recipes that I made. I went a little recipe crazy. I did 10 different recipe cards for Alicia. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and share these with you. I'm not going to read through the entire recipe. I'm just going to do a little quick share of them with you. Let's get started here. This first one is my hot dog chili sauce. I went and added these little, they're sort of like dimensional, they're sort of like buttons, but they're not. I hope that's okay, Laura. I hope they're not too dimensional for your pocket pages. And I added some metallic paint around the edges of the card and all over the back of the card. It makes it a little shiny there. And I have a diamond die fork here. And I also want a little sequence crazy on these cards. And I added, she said she wanted some like little special notations on these cards if we wanted. And I mentioned how this sauce is great on hot dogs, but it's also great on things like nachos, mac and cheese, and french fries. And this makes a rather large batch, so when I make this, we usually eat some, and then we freeze some in quart bags so that we can take, some, take it out of the freezer and just heat it up in a little pot and enjoy it later. So that was my first recipe. My next recipe is a cheese ball. And on this recipe card, I used some stickers of the little measuring spoons, a spatula, and of course sequence crazy again. And on the back here I used a little diamond die knife that I colored up with my Spectrum Noirs and some more sequences. And I explained on here this whole back is the story of how this is the first recipe that I learned with my daughter when she was in Head Start. This is one of the first things that I ever made with my kids when they were little and I'm talking little like um, three and four years old my kids were when we made this together. This is something that we make every Christmas for the family and uh, we put this out with crackers, pretzels, fresh vegetables and sometimes we just make this as a snack like for if there's a big ball game on for the weekend or something. Great recipe for the family. Okay, This one is sweet and sour Catalina chicken love these little flower shape sequences here's another diamond die knife and on the back here we have the diamond die fork and spoon some more sequences and this one I sometimes double the dressing amount because I like to serve this with rice and we like the sauce over the rice okay the next one is wine balsamic glazed steak and here we have some more sequences, a diamond die spoon, and another one of the little buttons, like a little measuring cup. And this one, um, I know your daughter's young, and this does say wine, but you can use a cooking wine in this. I have used it both ways with regular wine and cooking wine. The wine does cook out. So, but you can use cooking wine on this that you can buy at Walmart. And this recipe is from a Better Homes and Garden 30 minute cookbook that I have. I love that cookbook. Quick meals are essential for a busy family and I understand that. This is one of my son's favorite meals. He loves the sauce with the, the, um, the, it, cause it has a wine and a balsamic vinegar and the soy sauce and the butter and the honey. It just makes a wonderful sauce over the steak. Okay, and the next one is another one of my son's favorite. My son's a huge meat eater. <laughs> Three packet crock pot roast beef. This one is sort of a cook itself meal. Again, busy family crock pot meals are essential. Um, this one is a digi image that I have and uh, I printed her out and I colored her up with my watercolor pencils. And uh, then I put some Winca Stella on her. I don't know if you're getting the 
glitter there. And then of course some sequences and a whisk from the diamond dyes dye that I um, rubbed the Viva Decor metal on. Love crock pot meals. Here's another crock pot meal. This one is Hawaiian meatballs. This one is another, once you do all the cutting prep work, this is another kind of cook itself meal, but this one requires more prep work than the three packet roast beef one. This one you have to do a lot of chopping and cutting for this one. And on the back here I have a spatula from the diamond dies and some more sequins. And this one I have a few more notations. I serve this one with rice and I sometimes double the ingredients on this one. And this was a recipe found online. This one is a huge family favorite in my house. This is Jello salad. I've had this for as long as I can remember for holidays. Um, since I was a kid, this was one that I remember every Christmas my mother making and I taught my kids. And I hope that someday my kids will teach their kids. This is one that my kids when they had to do recipe presentations in school, this was the one that my kids took in and did. This is some heart-shaped sequences, a diamond die spoon, a little mixer button on the back, some more sequences. Like I said, we make this for all the holidays, especially Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's one of my kids' favorites, and I taught my kids, and I made it since I was a kid. Um, some of my recipes, you'll see that I have two names on the bottom, it's my maiden name, my married name. It's my way of honoring my family, saying that this, this, those recipes that have both names have been passed down through generations in my family. This recipe card is kind of glittery. I tried spraying this one. It kind of wrinkled up a little bit, so I didn't do that too much on any of the other ones. Um, sequence again, sticker. This is graham crackery clear cake. This was a craft online recipe. The first time I found this recipe, I believe it was either on a coffee can or on the Jello vanilla pudding packet, and I just decided to try it. My kids loved it. So it's it's a dessert that we make once in a while. It's just like an eclair cake. And uh, it's real, real simple prep, just a lot of refrigeration prep work and refrigerating. Um, it's great with a cup of coffee. Kids love it. Sequences, stickers, some diamond dyes. Yummy dessert. This one's zucchini bread. Um, I wanted to include this one because I don't know if you garden or not. We do garden a little bit. Not, not a lot. Um, but I do like to grow some zucchini. Um, make zucchini pancakes, zucchini bread. Um, some sequences oven mitt here, uh, diamond die spatula. I have a digi image here, Sherry Baldy, one of her new ones that was just released here. I have a little PPS down here for you. This was one of the new releases and when Sherry does new releases she has a name this digi image thing and I got the honor of they picked the name that I gave to this little lady and her name is Sweet Temptations. And I colored her up with some watercolor pencils and added Wink of Stella and Lindy Stamp Gang. Some mist to her hair that I painted with a paintbrush in there. So that's that one. And here's my last one. This is a very kid-friendly drink. This is Holiday Punch. And again, this is one that has been passed down through the generations. My grand I remember my grandmother making this, my mother making this. Um, it has switched up through the years. Um, the recipe that I most remember making is the 7-Up Orange Juice and Cranberry Juice, but as I put down here, the sizes of the juice can vary, and you could also use ginger ale or Sprite instead of 7-Up. Um, the juices could vary a little bit too. The orange, the cranberry, some people use, my mother has switched up and used 
instead of just orange juice, you could use high C. Instead of cranberry, you could use cran apple, cran cherry. It's been mixed up through the years. Just we've always served it in a very large punch bowl filled with ice at Christmas parties and it's always been a very popular drink. This is just something that we've always had every Christmas at the at the family party when I was a kid and now we make it with my kids. And then I go on to explain how I put both names down for my family that these are recipes that I learned when I was a kid and that I'm showing them to my kids and I think this is a wonderful idea that Laura's doing this for her children and I hope that my kids appreciate the recipes that I have for them and that they will someday share them with their kids. Alicia, I hope you have fun cooking this summer. I can't wait to hear about your um, culinary classes and I really hope you enjoy these recipes and I can't wait to hear all about it and I'll talk to you all later. See ya. Bye.